Hello, so in this short video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the float bowl on a Briggs & Stratton carb. So the first thing you want to do is take a 7 16 spanner and unscrew this bolt. You'll see there's a little gasket on there. And then the float bowl will just pull off. Careful not to knock that needle out though, because otherwise you'll pull the whole float and valve assembly out. So you then check for any build up inside the float bowl. Sometimes you can get away with just washing them out, um, but other times, especially if they're old, it's well worth uh, replacing them completely. So in this video I am going to be replacing the float bowl, the gasket and the little bolt that goes in the bottom. So for your convenience, the part number for this float bowl is 495933. Now you have to double check before you buy one for your engine because they can vary and the part numbers can be different. So you can now go ahead and open up your new parts. One thing I do recommend when getting new parts though is you clear your work space completely so that you don't get new parts dirty and that you don't mix them up with the old ones. So in here you'll get a new float bowl, you'll get the gasket for the bolt, you get the gasket for the bowl and the new bolt for the bottom of the float bowl. I do sometimes keep my packaging for a few weeks just for reference in the future. You can then put the gasket on the carburetor here Now make sure that all the surfaces are clean you've washed them properly. You need to do that with carb cleaner. It can be quite fiddly putting this gasket on so make sure you don't crease it or twist it. Make sure it's all sat in there properly. So you can see that the gasket's now on check there's no dirt in the new float bowl. So then you can put the float bowl on, make sure it's on evenly all the way around and that it's lined up in the middle. And then you can put your new bolt through the centre there. And then just tighten it up finger tight for a start. Then you don't cross thread it. And then get your spanner and then just tighten it up. Not too tight, just so it's tight. And that's all there is to it. So that is your new float bowl installed on a Briggs & Stratton carburetor.